Hello everyone. In this lecture, I will discuss about the how to solve the linear programming problem by graphical method of extreme or corner approach method. Let's see the problem. Use the graphical method to solve the following linear programming problem. Maximize z equal to 15x1 plus 10x2 subject to constraints 4x1 plus 6x2 less than or equal to 360 3x1 plus 0x2 less than or equal to 180 0x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 200 x1 and x2 greater than or equal to the 0 here objective function is maximize z equal to 15x1 plus 10x2 and x1 and x2 are the decision variables and three constraints are given that is 4x1 plus 6x2 less than or equal to 360 3x1 plus 0x2 less than or equal to 180 0x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to the 200 and x1 and x2 are greater than or equal to 0 which is non-negativity constraints let's start the solution first step is consider the each inequality constraint as an equation here three constraints are given which having the less than or equal to inequality so replace the less than or equal to inequality into equality then our constraints are our constraints are 4x1 plus 6x2 equal to 360 3x1 plus 0x2 equal to 180 0x1 plus 5x2 equal to 200 and x1 and x2 are greater than or equal to the 0 second step is each constraint will be plotted on the graph by treating it as linear equation for this first determine the coordinates for the each constraint equation first constraint equation is 4x1 plus 6x2 equal to 360 assume x1 equal to 0 and determine the x2 value if x1 equal to 0 above equation will become the 6x2 equal to 360 and x2 value is the 60 similarly assume the x2 equal to 0 and determine the x1 value if x2 equal to 0 above equation will become 4x1 equal to 360 and x1 equal to the 90 so coordinates of the 4x1 plus 6x2 equal to 360 equation is 0 comma 60 and 90 comma 0 second equation is 3x1 plus 0x2 equal to 180 which is the 3x1 equal to 180 so x1 value is the 180 divided by 3 that is the 60 and x2 value is the 0 so coordinates for the 3x1 plus 0x2 equal to 180 equation is 60 comma 0 third constant equation is 0x1 plus 5x2 equal to 200 which is 5x2 equal to 200 and x2 value is the 200 divided by 5 which is equal to the 40 so coordinates for the 0x1 plus 5x2 equal to 200 equation is 0 comma 40 next we have to plot the these coordinates on the graph for this treat the x1 as the horizontal axis and x2 as the vertical axis next we have to observe the highest values for the x1 here that is the 90 and also have to find the highest value for the x2 here that is 60 so next we have to make the equal divisions on the graph here we are considering the each division is 20 so we have to make the five divisions on x1 axis it will cover the maximum value of 90 similarly we have to make four divisions on x2 axis it will cover the maximum value of the 60 next to plot the 
first constraint coordinates on the graph that is 0 comma 60 and 90 comma 0 so mark the 0 on x1 axis and 60 on x2 axis so this is the point 0 comma 60 similarly we have to mark 90 on the x1 axis and 0 on x2 axis so this is the point so by joining of the these two points it will gives the line for the first constraint similarly second constraint coordinates are 60 comma 0 so mark the 60 on x1 axis and 0 on x2 axis so this is the point so draw the vertical line at this point it will gives the line for the second constraint third constraint coordinates are the 0 comma 40 so mark 0 on x1 axis and 40 on x2 axis so this is the point and to draw the horizontal line at this point it will gives the line for the third constraint next step is mark the feasible region based on inequality conditions of the constraints here observe that all the constraints are having less than or equal to inequality so mark the region below the constraint line here we have to consider the region for each constraint is below the line why means all the constraints are having less than or equal to inequality if any constraint having greater than or equal to inequality then we have to consider the reason is above the line so these are the reasons for the each constraint next we have to mark the feasible region feasible region is the area which is bounded by all the constraint lines it is nothing that common region which is satisfying the all the constraint region here oa bcd is the common region that is the feasible region so we have to mark the coordinates of the this oa bcd region so coordinates for the oa bcd region feasible region is 0 comma 0 60 comma 0 60 comma 20 30 comma 40 and 40 comma 0 next step is we have to find the optimal value of the objective function it will occur at one of the extreme points of the feasible region next step is evaluate the objective function at each extreme point of the feasible region for this draw a tabular column which having the three columns first column is extreme points in the feasible region that is o a b c d second column is coordinates for the these extreme points that is 0 comma 0 for o 60 comma 0 for a 60 comma 20 for b 30 comma 40 for c 0 comma 40 for d next column is objective function value so this value will given by substituting x1 and x2 values in the objective function for the respective extreme point so for the first extreme point that is the o which having the coordinates of 0 comma 0 which mean x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 0 then we have to substitute these values in the objective function then z will become the 0 for the o point similarly we have to substitute the x1 equal to 6 to 60 and x2 equal to 0 then objective function value z equal to 900 for the a point similarly we have to substitute the 
x1 equal to 60, x2 equal to 20 in the objective function. So we will get the value is 1100 for the B point. Similarly, you have to substitute x1 equal to 30 and x2 equal to 40 in the objective function. So we will get the z value is the 850 for the extreme point of the C. Similarly, you have to substitute x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 40 in the objective function. We will get the z value is the 400 for the extreme point of the D. See here, among these values, maximum value is 1100 for the extreme point of B. So, which having the coordinates of 60 comma 20. So, hence the optimal solution is x1 equal to 60 and x3 equal to 20 and maximum z value is 1100. So, this is the solution and thank you.